In this video, we will discuss another paper by Patrick Schumacher called Design as a Second Nature. We will see how the guys at Zaha Hadid Architects are studying sand dunes and soap formations to guide their design decisions. Hit those like and subscribe buttons and get yourself ready for another educational video. Part 1. The Whole Organism The idea of design guided by nature is as old as the discipline itself. From the early inception of architecture as an innovative practice, architects sought to follow nature in their designs. Key compositional features such as symmetry and proportions present themselves in the structures of the early civilizations. Beauty was compared to an organism that could only be achieved if all the parts of the body are in harmony with one another. A body consists of parts that are individual, and if any of these parts were removed or altered, then the whole composition will be spoiled. This idea of the whole organism lived through the Renaissance, Baroque, and Neoclassicism periods. Classical proportions were only challenged and abandoned by modernism. After that, computational advancements created a deeper understanding of the natural formations. Part 2. Biomimetics Biomimetics is the observation and study of the inorganic self-organization of the natural materials. It inspired a lot of engineering advancements. Some simple examples are the inventions of Velcro and water and dirt repellent coating. Fry Otto pioneered this approach and presented a study where he investigated the formation of soap bubbles. This allowed him to discover the forms that are shaped by nature itself rather than trying to invent them himself. The patterns found by biomimetics are based on genetic evolution and the natural physical reaction of the materials to the real world. Biomimetics is not able to impact architecture as it did with engineering because of two reasons. One, architecture operated on a large scale structure where macroorganism optimization tends to break down. Two, architecture is a medium to solve social functionality and biomimetics tends to solve technical functionality. Part 3. Geomorphism Biomorphism is the attempt to develop a design language that is inspired by natural and organic forms. It is the simulation of large-scale landscape form formations. For engineers, this approach is more superficial, but for architects it should be welcomed. Patrick argues that since architecture is concerned with the social performance of the built environment, it is then heavily reliant on its visual performance. It is only possible with the use of complex algorithms provided to us by the technological computation advancements of our age. Biomorphism is a study of the living organism, but the team at Zaha Hadid Architects are more interested in the forces and material forms of the geographical context. Patrick provided a list of three ZHA projects with their proper inspirations. 1. The Dubai Opera House versus the Desert Sand Dunes. 2. The Amman Grand Theater versus the Mountains Formulations. 3. The Guangzhou Opera House versus the Rocks in the Path of the River. Part 4. The Role of Parametric Design. The general characteristics that forms this design approach or what defines it as a style. Even though we will be discussing these characteristics in later videos, it is important to understand that a style is a tool set to solve problems. Parametric design is the only style using the computational powers and can exploit the advantages of geomorphism or even biomimetics. In the next video, we will be presenting a substyle of parametricism called tectonism. We will show you how it successfully merged the technical advantages of biomimetics and social problem solving of architecture to create the cities of the future. Stay tuned to learn more and thank you for watching.